right, first fight of the night, B2 Fighting Series 158, night two of your doubleheader. Man, it's been a long weekend, but we would not want to be anywhere else in the world. Quentin Campbell, let's get it going. Third minute in the cage, referee Bobby Wambacher. There he goes, Quentin starting off strong. That's what he does, man. And look, look at it. He's not giving Dylan any room to breathe. He's going. And these big boys, this, this, some of these shots are landing, man. Nice knee. Quick Campbell is looking devastating right now. Good job by Dylan to get that underhook on that left side. Alex Hacker hopefully he can jack it up, and there he goes. The ring said he wanted this fight on the he feet. Did. Well, he certainly got it. And Quentin Campbell's doing exactly what Quentin Campbell does. Closes the distance, messes you up on the cage panel, takes you down, and he's looking to ground and pound you or get that submission. But this is taxing for these big guys, Alex Hacker. Oh, goodness. It's taxing for the small guys. Yeah, it is. I mean, imagine holding 264-pound Quentin Campbell on the cage. Right. Because he's never going to let up. He's going to oh. be in your face the whole fight. And one thing, I was talking with Sean, his head coach, who's cornering him tonight. I was talking to him about Quentin. He said, listen, every time Quentin does a good job, every time Quentin does a good job, it's at super heavyweight. Every time he cuts weight, he seems to be flat. But Quentin cut weight for this fight. He's not looking flat tonight right now, man. No, I mean, and a guy that has to cut weight to get down to heavyweight, my goodness. Got it. I I'm going to say it, Andy. Go ahead. Go ahead. You did not. Go ahead and say it. Dante Allen sitting right behind us here. I'm, like, I'm so excited. Kentucky Wildcat legend, of course. All right, we'll get back to oh, this fight. Oh, got that mouthpiece. mouthpiece. out for Quentin Campbell. Quentin acknowledged, like, you got me on that one. That was a great right hand. And Bobby wambacher has got to be sick of dealing with the mouthpiece, <laughs> know, right? don't he? Oh, a big dip in a right hand for Dylan Rink. Level change of 10 for Quentin Campbell. Underhook on the right side there. There he goes. Good job by Rink to do that, man. Use that underhook to reverse the situation. But here he goes. This is where Quentin lives. He's good here. This is where he wants to be. I like to see Dylan circle out because Dylan was having some success on the feet. Look at the right side of the body I of see Dylan it. Rink. And a break in the action here. Bobby Wambacher reinserts the mouthpiece. It's from them, that body kick. Would we have... What would the over-under have been on this fight going to the second round? Oh, man. I'm going to tell you, I wouldn't have bet on going to the second round. I even said it was going to be a fast fight. They're proving me wrong. I get proved wrong every, every weekend anyway. So ah, it is what it is. We're paid to have opinions. Exactly. I'm going to say this. I know how good Dylan Rink's takedown defense is. I don't see Quentin taking him down. I, these, this fight's going to be here and in the middle of the cage. But can these big heavyweights keep this energy up, man? Now he's out again yep. for Quentin Campbell. This could be a problem. Dylan's looking to get that, secure that takedown. Can he secure the round off that takedown? And that may have stolen the round right there for Dylan Rink. Very, very tactical decision. You know, the thing about it is, here's the thing is, Dylan had his moments in that first round. I, I feel like Quentin controlled that round. I mean, yes, Rink got the takedown with, what, five seconds left? But does that really dictate the whole round? I, I don't know, man. Well, if there's anything that can be said with certainty, it's if there's no certainty with the judges' scorecard, <laughs> right? right? Yes, so, you're right. You know, it is what it is. What are the odds that this fight is just from the distance either way? Man, we've seen Quentin Campbell go the distance. We have. We've seen Dylan Rink go the distance because right. we know they got it in them to go the distance. So, I mean, both these guys, they look good, man. I mean. It's re really, to be honest with you, I would love to see Dylan Rink circle out a little more, try to use a little bit more angles, because Quentin's doing a really good job of really marrying Dylan Rink up against the cage panel, and I feel like he needs to use these angles and really neutralize Quentin from doing that, because Quentin's having really good success doing that. What a fight here to start the night off. My goodness. Quentin Campbell up off the stool already. Dylan Rink turning around, getting good advice from his corners, as always. B2 Fighting Series 158, night two, Lexington, Kentucky. I'm going to tell you, man, night one last night oh, was man. a phenomenal card. A lot of new guys, but that's what we need. It was a, a necessary card, and it and it really did produce. And tonight on paper, if you look at this card, man, I'm telling you, we've got a lot of experienced killers on this card, and I think it's going to produce, too. This is going to be a long night of fights, man. A heavy nice. leg kick there for Rink. I love that combination he's throwing there. 
See, right here, uh, I like to see Dylan Ring start using that jab a little more. One, two for Clint Campbell, and a heavy leg kick for Ring. Quentin's got to be careful throwing them naked kicks. Look, Dylan Ring's got some power. That was a nice little uppercut right there by Quentin Campbell. Nice. Man, what a cross. Level change attempt for Quentin Campbell here. Stuffed by Rink. But all he did, he knew he wasn't going to get that takedown. But where did he do? Right back to the cage panel where he wants to be. And he's got Rink's back pressed up against the cage. That's exactly where Quentin Campbell wants to be, throwing these devastating knees here. All right, Rink's got that underhook. He can circle out here. He had a way out. He's got to he's got to stuff the head here. Trying to see exactly where Quentin Campbell's head is positioned. Is it in between the legs of Rink? It is. I don't know if Dylan's tired or not, man. He's not really throwing a lot in the second round. Oh no, man, he said one, that he two. Wanted to fight on the on the feet. And yeah. He's got it. Now he's. Now he's pit. Oh, oh, he barely head missed that. Head head. Oh, man, that would have been devastating. My goodness, would have gotten on the highlight reel. Yes, it would have. Oh, good thing. Needed the head lands for Rink. Rink's turning it up in the end of the second round here. There's another level change attempt by Campbell. And if you're Rink, just circle. He's got to circle out, man. It's there. He needs to fight that underhook again. He's got good wrist control here. But he's got to go back to that underhook. Everything is one on the inside here. See, the thing is, Quint Campbell doesn't have good head pressure. His head placement's not great. Dylan's to circle out right now. He's man. got the underhook. Jack it up and circle out to your right, man. You got it. I don't understand what the weight is. It's tired, man. That yeah. has to be what it is, Hacker. These heavyweights aren't typically going six straight minutes. Right. No. Rink reaching up for the head there. Short time remaining. Oh, big right hand barely missed for Quentin Campbell. Nice leg kick. Heavy leg kick landing there for Quentin Campbell. I'm going to tell you, man, I think the first round has is, is really done it in for, for both of these guys. They're both tired. But they'll keep fighting on. Nice Heavy leg, leg kick. kick right here in front of us. And a nice right uppercut up underneath oh. by Dylan Rink. Oh, oh and the head knee. lands for Rink. And the knee to the body. Oh. And the left hook. Quentin Campbell's chance started to climb up in the air there. He is. He's getting tired is what it is. Cardio setting in. You know, until about the last 30 seconds of that round, I was going to say, man, how good is Quentin Campbell looking? I know. That's what I was going to say, man. He's really controlling, but Reed really turned it up this, the last 30, 45 seconds of that round. Look at these one-twos on this replay, Alex Hacker. Man, oh, man. Oh, Whoa. man, that head kick. Oh, boy, that one right over the head. We'd have been jumping, throwing the seats back. Yeah. You know, yesterday, Sergio Martinez <laughs> knockout. I, man. I, my chair was in the crowd. I, I jumped up so fast, kicked that bad boy back. That would have done the same thing. Oh, 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about that uppercut real quick. Man. That Sergio Martinez had last night. Let me tell you, man, that's one of the most devastating knockouts I've ever seen. Uh, absolutely. And we're coming off of seeing Brian Doogie Hauser do it two times in a row. But that... For my 155 pound 18 year old kid. It's different. Nuts. 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 First fight of his life. Insanity. <laughs> I mean, the kid delivered. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. And he, I mean, he, he delivered. That kid's going to be something special, man. But. Look, check this out on your replay. We're talking about Beat the Fighting Series 157 yesterday. Oh, man. Wop. My goodness. Imagine that. Just. A massacre. And actually, I want to say this. Talk to Jared. He's here tonight. He's in good spirits. He's got yeah. a little concussed. But his girlfriend's he, he fighting good. tonight. And his girlfriend is fighting tonight. That is correct. Good fight right here to start off the card. Nice leg kick. I love when Dylan Rink throws that leg kick. Heavy leg kick by Rink. These guys going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Heavy head kick just missing. Oh! Nice and combo now Campbell by Quentin Campbell. Line pressure. I mean, for these big boys to get that leg up that high, that's pretty impressive. Absolutely. But here it is. They started out fresh. They're going to be tired after this exchange up against the cage here. 
Quentin Campbell's corner is yelling to get hit. Hey, he's got to improve his head position, and I agree with him. Good cornering right there. Yes, very good cornering. And he just pulls off and breaks, probably not what the corner wanted. But nonetheless. Man, I'm going to tell you, both of these guys are tired. If somebody would just go for broke, they might be able to do something with this fight. Campbell angling off. Oh, head head kick. Kick. that did missed. land. It did. Yeah, saw the sweat come off. It did. Off it did. It did. Campbell. Nice body. Oh, body oh that body Rink. shot hurt him. Oh, oh, another body kick for Rink. Action right here in front of us. Campbell turns his back. Oh, this might be it. Dylan Rink applying the ground and pound here. Quentin Campbell in a world of trouble. Hammer fist. Bobby Wambacher's looking on very closely. Dylan Rink applying good ground and pound here. What can Quentin Campbell do to stay alive? You got to think if Dylan Rink goes to town here, the fight could be over. It could. If he would just let it all hang out, he, he could definitely finish Quentin Campbell right now. Quentin Campbell's got to get back to his knees. He can't just lay on his hip like that. He's got to try to improve, shrimp back in. He needs to turn back into Dylan Rink right now, not away from him. He needs to turn in. And Dylan Rink's happy to be right here, throwing these little peppering shots. There he goes. If he would just waylay. Bobby Wadbacher looking in very close. He's warning him now. He's telling him he's got to improve. It's got to be intelligent defense by Quentin Campbell. Dylan Rink in favor of getting a TKO victory. Quentin's hanging on. He's trying. Just he's barely. Got, well, he's got to pull his posture oh, down, this man. this might be it. Yeah. This might be it. He's got to bring his posture down. He can't let him just posture up like that and just keep throwing. He's stuck. He's stuck right here. Yeah. He, he really is. He's, he's just too tired Rink to get is, out. I'm surprised Dylan Rink is not putting on more. I think Dylan Rink is just so – I think he's exhausted. Right, oh, yeah. man, double hammer fist. Two heavyweights here in the ninth right. minute of the fighting. And that does That's it. That's it. Over. Bobby Wambacher pulls Dylan Rink off, and he walks away with a TKO victory over Quentin Campbell. First fight of the night at V2 Fighting Series 158. What a fight, man. Hey, man, but look. Rink had to dig deep to get that win, to get that finish. That was a really good fight yes, by he both did. guys. Yes, he did. It was, a, it was a great fight. Quentin Campbell is still looking better than he's ever looked. Better than he's ever looked. Hey, even jumped up in competition. Well, you know what? His technique has jumped up as well, man. He's looking good. This is what this is about. This is exactly what his coach said he needed to do, is he needed to have this tough fight like this against a tough guy in Dylan Rink. Dylan Rink's back in the B2 Fighting Series cage with the third round TKO. Congratulations, man. And we're happy to have Dylan Rink back. Yeah, I course, like that man. kid, man. He's a good dude anyway. He's going to be a good pro. I'm telling you that right now. He's yep. going to be a, a tough matchup for any professional heavyweight. And Quentin Campbell, of course, will get back to the drawing board. Nothing for the young man to hold his head about. It is what it is. He took a big step up in competition. Look at the icy white T-shirt for Dylan Rink. Okay. See that side, too, man. The oh, toes. Man. You can see Quentin Campbell's toe prints on the side. That's right. What a fight. Big Here's energy. to start the night, man. Setting the table well are the heavyweights to start the night. Let's wrap this one up. Here's Lance Green. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bobby Wallbacher, has brought us out to this fight. Two minutes and 38 seconds into round number three. Your winner, by way of TKO due to strikes, out of the blue corner, Dylan Big Energy Rink. So Dylan Big Energy Rink improves his amateur record to six wins and three losses.